Hello everybody, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube Creative Studio and welcome to a new video tutorial which is a second part how to crochet this beautiful summer tunic with flower pattern. I really love this uh, romantic flowery pattern around uh, on the yoke and also on the bottom part of the tunic. In the first part we created the yoke. Now I will show you how to make the body of the tunic with very easy and simple pattern. And then I will show you how to continue with flower pattern with no increase or how you can increase the tunic around the hips and how to finish it with a beautiful uh, edge uh, round. The instructions and pattern notes with the links are available in the box right below this video tutorial and the written pattern is for free in my blog. So guys, let me remind you that I use crochet hook 3 mm and uh, yarn rainbow fantasy. The links uh, you will find uh, in the description box where you can buy this uh, yarn. So this is where we finished. We finished uh, with uh, the fourth uh, row uh, of uh, flower pattern on the yoke. We have 24 repetitions with uh, 14 stitches. In the next round I will increase uh, 24 times. I will do increase uh, in a group of double crochet stitches between flowers. So there are 24 flowers. I will do increase 24 times and uh, I will finish with uh, 36 stitches. So let me show you how to do it. Close the last uh, round with, uh, with flowers, flower pattern and now chain 3. Chain 3 at the beginning is my first double crochet. 1, 2 and 3. And I will do increase in the first stitch. So let's make double crochet in the first stitch. We have 2 stitches in 1. Then continue and make double crochet in each and every double crochet stitch. And in each chain. Okay. Let me remind you that we uh, make a tunic uh, extra small woman size, which uh, is a classic style tunic, but this tunic also fits me and I have a medium size and uh, it's a like a body fit. Then double crochet in treble, double crochet in next two chains, then double crochet in next four double crochet stitches. And this is the end of uh, one repetition. Then I will repeat it. So each repetition has uh, 15 stitches. I do increase at the beginning of each repetition. Okay, one, two, three, four. And then let's start a new repetition with increase. So make a double crochet, a two double crochets in one double crochet from the previous row. And then continue. Make double crochet in each double crochet, in each chain, in each treble, and so on and so on, till you reach the beginning of the row. And uh, to have a yoke uh, nicely symmetrical, I will make one uh, more row with double crochet stitches and then a row with chain one, chain one spaces and I will not uh, increase. So keep the same number of stitches. So now make chain 3, 
which is my first double crochet and then double crochet in each stitch around you will finish the round with uh, 360 stitches and then you will make the round with uh, chain one spaces so chain three at the beginning then chain one skip one and make double crochet in next stitch and this is the yoke which i have prepared i have 24 repetitions so for me it will be quite easy to divide uh, the yoke into four parts the length measures 15 centimeters uh, 5.9 inch so 24 divided by 4 is 6 so I will have 6 repetitions for sleeves and 6 for front and back panel and I finish my crocheting right between the repetitions so it's easy to count it and use uh, stitch markers um, after six repetitions one two three four five and six now let me remove and correct the position of my of my stitch marker so i one two three four five six repetitions between uh, stitch markers and now it will be quite easy to join uh, the yoke I will uh, measure the circumference just so you know the width and uh, we have uh, approximately uh, 40 uh, centimeters which is uh, 15 and half inch okay so um, one part is uh, for sleeve then for front panel next part for the sleeve on the opposite side and uh, next part for the back panel first of all I will create the sleeve so chain one and then single crochet in double crochet stitch then single crochet in chain one space and single crochet in next double crochet so i will make a nice border with single crochet stitches just one round for the sleeve just to make a nice border which corresponds um, with single crochet stitches around the neckline so I made 90 single crochet stitches we have 6 repetitions times uh, 15 so 90 single crochet stitches and I just reached the marker so make a single crochet in this last stitch and then I will chain 20 chains I need uh, this space for armhole or to increase uh, the width of the body so chain 20 you can chain less or more depends of the circumference of your breast so chain 20 go back where we started the row with single crochet stitches insert the hook in the first single crochet and make a slip stitch if you want you can make more rows for a sleeve or you can make a row with picots it's fully up to you okay so row with single crochet stitches 90 single crochets then chain 20 and close the round with a slip stitch we can cut the yarn and repeat it for the second sleeve on the opposite side ok 
Okay, so this is the armhole, the sleeve and the armhole. So cut the yarn and fasten off. We will rejoin a new yarn on the opposite side. So now skip uh, skip uh, 90 stitches and start where you have the next stitch marker already prepared. Okay. So again I will make uh, 90 single crochets. So rejoin a new yarn, make a loop, then chain one and make a single crochet in the same stitch in the first stitch and then single crochet in chain one space. Then single crochet in next double crochet and single crochet in chain one space. Co keep continue crocheting till you reach the next stitch marker. We have 90 single crochets and then chain 20 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. This is it. Let's find the beginning of the row where we started crocheting and make a slip stitch in the first single crochet. So we made a border with single crochet stitches around the sleeve and now it will be easy I will work on the body only. Again, I will work in closed rounds. And let me show you. There are 20 chains, 90 stitches, 20 chains and 90 stitches. And this is the number of stitches for my body of the tunic. So I will start here. And first of all, make 20 double crochets in the chain. Then continue on the front panel. Then working 20 uh, double crochets in the chain. And then 90 stitches on the front panel. So this is it. Let me show you the body of the tunic. So I will start with chain 3 at the beginning. Let me remind you we work on the right side only so don't turn your work when you finish the round. And always finish the round with a slip stitch in the third chain from the very beginning. So chain 3 and now double crochet in each chain. So make 20 double crochet stitches, work in each chain, okay there is a marker so it's easy to find it. So I have 20 double crochet stitches, then make a double crochet in next double crochet and double crochet in chain one space. Then double crochet in double crochet and again double crochet in chain one space. Perfect. 
so you will make 90 stitches till you reach the next stitch marker once you reach the stitch marker this is uh, the place where is uh, 20 chains chain so you will make one double crochet in each chain and then you will continue again working on the next panel and you will make one double crochet in each double crochet and double crochet in each chain one space and uh, yeah you will finish here where we started uh, the round so it's easy it's just a row with double crochet stitches there is no increase and uh, so you will work this way till the marker then into the chains and till you reach the next marker so here I am this is the row with double crochet stitches and this is where I started the row and I also finish the round and the next part uh, the body of the tunic will be super super easy I will make two rows with double crochet stitches so this is the second row with double crochet stitches and then the row with chain one spaces and I will not increase or decrease I will make the same number of stitches around and I have 90 plus 20 plus 90 plus 20 so I have 220 stitches around so now make a row with double crochet stitches always start the uh, round with uh, chain 3 and finish the round with slip stitch in the third chain from the very beginning Okay, so two rows with double crochet and one row with chain one spaces then two rows with double crochet stitches and one row with chain one spaces I really love to make um, the pattern perfect so that's why I have two rows with double crochet stitches between um, the flowers and also between the rows with chain one spaces okay so this is my third round and then I will repeat the pattern so double crochet chain one skip one and double crochet in next so this is it and you can make the body of the tunic as long as you wish for your size and uh, once you are satisfied with the length of your tunic you can make the flowers on the bottom part so I will measure the length of uh, three rounds and it measures two and half um, centimeters um, which is uh, one inch so one inch for three rows and the flower pattern measures 3.8 centimeters which is one and a half inch so four rows one and a half inch for flower pattern so guys you can keep continue crocheting i love these colors and i will meet you once i finish the body of my tunic 
and here I am <laughs> look at it isn't it beautiful there are uh, three rows repetitions I love it I love the colors and this simple pattern and till you are satisfied with uh, the length of your tunic let's start um, a row with flowers so end with uh, two rows with double crochet stitches and then I have already started the first round with flowers and what's really important I will not increase and in this flower pattern you know we increased on the yoke on that uh, bottom part I will not increase I will make uh, the same pattern for the flowers the only difference is uh, the number of double crochet stitches between flowers and I need for one repetition with flower pattern with no increase I need 12 stitches okay 12 uh, stitches for one repetition uh, so I need 18 repetitions which is 216 and in before I had you know 220 stitches so I made before I started the flower pattern I made four times decrease in the row uh, below okay and uh, uh, as I told you the only difference is the number of stitches between flowers and I will start with uh, four double crochets and finish with three double crochets so I will have seven double crochets in a group so let me show you the repetition let's make one double crochet in next four stitches one two three and four this is how you will start the repetition then chain three and this is the same part so chain three skip two double crochet stitches and make a treble in the next stitch then chain three one two three skip two stitches and make double crochet in next three stitches or in these last three stitches so I have seven double crochets between flowers okay so this is why I need 12 stitches for one repetition and I have 18 repetitions around so one two three double crochets plus four at the beginning I have seven double crochets between flowers let's close the round with a slip stitch amazing okay so no increase in flower pattern then chain three again work on the uh, right side don't turn your work and chain three one two three and make double crochet in the next stitch so two double crochets at the beginning skip two double crochets and this is again the same what we made on the yoke then chain four and let's make a single crochet in the third chain in chain three space then chain one skip a treble and make a single crochet in the first chain next chain three space then chain four one two three four skip two double crochet stitches and make a double crochet in next stitch 
and this is the last stitch of my repetition. Now you can repeat the instructions, so make double crochet in next two stitches, then chain four, make single crochet in the last chain, in chain three space, single crochet, then chain one, skip a treble and make single crochet in the first chain, in next chain three space, then chain four, skip two doubles and make a double crochet. So as you can see, now we have three double crochet stitches between flowers and again there is no increase. So it's easy. So keep continue crocheting, just finish the last double crochet in the last stitch and join the round with a slip stitch. In the third chain from the beginning. Here we are. Now chain three. This is my first double crochet and make double crochet in next stitch. So we started with two double crochet stitches, then chain four and make a single crochet in single crochet, single crochet in chain one space and a single crochet in single crochet. It's the pretty same, right? So we have three single crochet stitches in the middle. One, two and three. Three single crochets. Then chain four. One, two, three, four. And let's make double crochet in next double crochet. And this is the last stitch of my repetition. This is it. And then keep continue crocheting and make the next repetition. So make one double crochet in next two, then chain four, three singles, chain four and one double. So again we have three double crochet stitches between flowers. And the last round it's again the pretty same, so you will make one uh, double crochet in each double crochet, double crochet in uh, uh, last two chains and double crochet in double crochet. So there are three double crochets between flowers. You will work in each this stitch and then double crochet in the first two chains. So this is again absolutely the same. There is no decrease. So two doubles in the first two chains, then chain two. You know now work treble in the middle single crochet. Make a treble, then chain two and make double crochet in the last two chains, so in the third and in the fourth chain. And again one double crochet in each double crochet. And there are three double crochets between flowers. So guys this is the fourth row. of the flower pattern and there is no increase. So still you have 12 stitches for one repetition. Okay, so now double crochet in the first and in the second chain, chain two, treble in the middle single crochet, chain two, double crochet in the last two chains and finish the repetition with double crochet in the last double crochet. 
and this is it we finished the fourth round for the flower pattern and now I will make two rounds with double crochet stitches only and I will make a double crochet in each double crochet and double crochet in each chain so one two three four five stitches at the beginning then double crochet in next two chains double crochet in treble then double crochet in next two chains and double crochet in each double crochet so there is no increase just round with double crochet stitches and you will make one more round with double crochet stitches and then you can keep continue crocheting and make four rounds for the flower pattern if you feel uh, that you need the tunic to be wider at this uh, bottom part there is no problem to increase between the flowers and I will show you how my tunic turned out and uh, I feel that I need to increase when I made the third row with flowers on the bottom part so um, the third round is with increase so let me recap the first two rows with flowers there is no increase I made 12 stitches for each repetition I have 18 flowers around and there are 7, 3, 3 and 7 stitches between flowers then 2 rounds with double crochet stitches and then I repeat the pattern the only difference is that I move the beginning of the round to have the flowers in between the flowers uh, from the first round so you see they are perfectly centered and uh, in the second round with flowers I also have 18 uh, flowers uh, around and uh, for the third round with flowers I um, increased so I need uh, uh, 10 stitches for one repetition and as you know now I have 216 so I do increase two times on each side so this is where I increased so I increased two times on one side and two times on the opposite side now I have uh, 220 stitches which is perfect for uh, 22 flowers around and for one repetition I need 10, 10 uh, stitches and what's uh, also important I do increase only in first two rounds so I increased in uh, the round one and two on the flower pattern and then I continue with no increase but uh, you you know how to increase how to uh, work with no increase so it's fully up to you how wide the tunic on the bottom part will create okay so you see it's uh, slightly uh, increasing the width is slightly increasing on the bottom part and I think now it's perfect because I need it to be a bit wider around the hips 
So let me briefly recap. For increase, uh, you need to start uh, with a multiple of 10. And uh, for no decrease, you need a multiple of 12 for one repetition. And this is uh, the rest of the ball. I'm so, so happy how it turned out. It's absolutely perfect. And uh, yeah, I will show you how to finish uh, the border, how to make uh, the easy shell stitch. Uh, and uh, or if you prefer any other border for your tunic, it's uh, fully up to you. I just uh, thought that uh, these uh, shells will be perfect for the flower pattern. And it's easy. So make uh, a slip stitch in next two stitches, then skip two stitches and make six double crochet stitches in one stitch. And what's really important to have the pattern absolutely perfect to make this shell stitch, these six double crochet stitches on the position where we have a treble one row below of my uh, flower pattern. Then skip two stitches and make a slip stitch in the next two stitches. One and Two, then skip two stitches and make a group of six double crochet stitches in one double crochet and as you can see we are in the middle between the flowers so one shell is uh, in the middle of the flower pattern and the next shell is in the middle in the space between the flowers. So skip two and make a slip stitch in the first stitch. So two slip stitches, then skip two, make a shell stitch, skip two and make two slip stitches. And I think it's amazing. <laughs> we perfectly used up one ball. I love this peach color at the end. This is the rest of ball. I will definitely use it for some next uh, project, maybe for some amigurami small toy. And now let me measure the tunique. Uh, so the width of the sleeve is uh, 18 centimeters 7 inches. The armhole where we add uh, 20, uh, you know, chains measures 4 centimeters 1 and a half inch on both sides. The length of uh, the Unique is uh, 53 centimeters, 20.7 inch, and uh, yeah, 23. The width on the top a part of the tunic is 41 centimeters, 16 inches. The width where we started the flower pattern is uh, 45 centimeters, 18 inches and uh, the bottom, bottom row measures 55 centimeters, 21 inch and the uh, circumference around the neckline is uh, 54 centimeters, 21 inch. And uh, the last length is uh, the length of the yoke, which is 15 centimeters, 5.9 inch. 
and this is it my crochet friends you already know how to crochet this beautiful summer tunic with romantic flowers i would like to thank you very much for watching if you like this video tutorial please give me your thumb up and don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel wish you happy crocheting take care and bye for now my crochet friends bye bye